Losing a child, one of the most painful experiences a person can endure. News 3 spoke exclusively to a group who is trying to ease the pain for parents throughout Hampton Roads. Reporter Margaret Cavanaugh explains. We went to the hospital thinking we're going to go home with the baby. Nothing in the world could have prepared this couple for the pain they experienced last summer. Casey Kleps was pregnant with their first child. She says she was in active labor, but then doctors couldn't find a heartbeat and the baby tragically died. When something like that happens, you're in such shock, you're not thinking. Casey and Jeremy say they were so grateful for the group. Now I lay me down to sleep. Area coordinator for Hampton Roads and professional photographer Tiffany Alexander took these pictures for the couple soon after the loss. I don't feel like I'm looking at a dead baby. I feel like I'm looking at my son. Today, they say the images are priceless. You're not thinking straight at that time. And they say the pictures have helped them with their grieving process. I wouldn't have any pictures of my son at all if they weren't for them. It meant a lot to me. In her studio in Suffolk, Tiffany has a butterfly for each lost baby she has photographed, 84 since she started with the group in 2014. When I first started, I did not realize the amount of losses that, that we have. She says she loves being able to provide pictures to suffering parents. To be able to say, hey, this is not something that can be taken away from you. These volunteers with the group are on call to go to the hospital when needed. They're always looking for more help. You don't have to just be a photographer. You can assist a photographer. You can go into the um, recruitment role. You can go into dispatcher. This couple wanted to speak out to let people know how much the group has helped them. We felt like we were the only ones. But then, you know, as you talk to people, you kind of find out that it's more common than you think. And they want more people to talk about this kind of emotional loss. We should stop treating it as such a taboo topic and, you know, talk about it more because it's happening. Yeah, and the volunteer that we interviewed said sometimes these parents don't open up these pictures. She just got an email from a mom who said she opened the pictures in her email three years after it <sighs> happened just because it's so, so raw and so painful. So... How do you get in touch with them when something like this happens? Well, we have information on our website about the group. It's free. It's completely free for the parents affected and the volunteers are all donating their time and they're looking to grow here in the Hampton Roads. And I can totally understand why they would need that. You, you need that image. You, you want that image later on when you think about your baby. Yeah. Closure for, for a lot of these people. Thank you, Margaret. All right, thanks, thanks Margaret. Mm -hmm.